here we go, we've got the engine and we're going to need to strip it completely. So I managed to take this side off and that side off. It was a bit of a challenge because of the screws. We've got the head here. It's a very simple two-stroke engine. The piston at the top is seized with the barrel. Let me show you just here. So this, this has actually got WD-40 in there. Um, that was there to soak it, basically. I've done so many different things to try and get it free, but it's just not worked. So what we're gonna do is take these off, these threads, see if we can strip everything down and take the crank, the piston and the barrel off as one unit and get it to a professional to get it all sorted. First things first is to see if we can get these threads off. So the way I'm gonna do that, two studs. There we go. So I basically put two bolts together, tighten them up and then undone the bottom one. So I managed to loosen these off before <clears throat> and I found something quite disturbing. So I found this. This was actually inside the case as well as this nut. So this washer is meant to be like so and that's meant to be lifted up to stop it. Somehow it's got the marking of the teeth and this was completely loose. Alright, so this is uh, where I'm at so far. I've put this back on. Um, but I cleaned it all completely. Cleaning all of this here, but it's really bloody difficult. Um, so you're going to flip it over, do some more. You can see that in the grooves there, there's so much to be done. Ooh, that's one big fucking spider. Ooh. Can you see that? take this off which looks like some kind of oil seal After burning myself on this flipping bad boy here, I've decided I'm probably not going to be able to split the case myself. So it's meant to be a bridging tool that you put along here and you're basically effectively pushing down on these two points so the bearings pop off and lifting the case off. Now a lot of people are telling me that they just use heat, so I've been using heat and uh, yeah, well, it doesn't, it, does, it just doesn't work for me. It's just not working. I've managed to get a little bit off, so you can see that there's a gap here. But you've got to kind of do it on both sides. I mean, I've fucked up this hammer now. That's how hard I've been hitting it. So I'm giving it a good whack. And obviously, you know, that was a two second touch. So I obviously had it hot. Um... And the reason why I burnt myself touching that is because I was checking this stud out down here again to see if that was coming loose because I feel like that's the issue. But I don't know. All the all everything is off, completely off. You know that's obviously not connected, not connected, not connected to both cases. And this is completely loose, so I just don't get it. So, to bring you to speed with everything, let me tell you what's happened. First of all, I burnt myself here. As you can see, it's a few days on now. 
we've not been able to get this this uh, crankcase split. Um, I've taken off all the bolts. Everything is ready to go. Um, I tried heating it up, which it didn't work for me by mistake. I touched myself on this bolt, which was really annoying. So then I kind of stopped for a couple of days. Um, hence why I then did the video on the earplugs. Wanted a little break from it. But at the same time, Rob, you're a genius. Thank you so much for lending me these things. They are looking pretty good. And, and see if we can get this bad boy split. Because this is just driving me up the bloody wall. Not sponsoring WD-40 yet. But I do have quite a lot of it. So to explain, this is pushing down on the shaft and this is also pushing down on the shaft. So as I turn them, which I should do slowly together, it should, because this part is attached to the case and this part is attached to the case, sorry for those that have a, like know exactly what I'm talking about and I'm talking the basics here for the other people that are also interested. But what that does in effect is this is pulling on the case and lifting it upwards as this is pushing downwards, if that makes sense. So we should hopefully start to see it split if things go to plan. So I'm saying I should really heat it up. Moment of truth, as I know it's coming off. I just got to do this at the same time now. Can you feel it? <laughs> yes. I'm telling you, I needed this bloody tool. But we did it. You see, persistence is key because I did not want to give up. And yeah, okay, I got a bit of help, but just with the tools, and you need the right tools to do the job. Right. <laughs> that is awesome. I've been dying to do this for such a long time. Look how straightforward it is. It's all so simple. Should all come off together. But it didn't. And there we have it. Piston, crank, in one piece. People said I couldn't do it. Stupid. Absolutely stupid. Used my brain and did it. And that has to get sent off to get refurbed. That's basically where we're at. Now I need to clean up all these bits and work out how everything needs to go back together.